In this LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga video, we are going to be exploring the secrets of Jakku. In this series, we explore each of the locations of the Skywalker Saga to find what is hidden out of bounds using a free cam tool. And each episode's location is decided by you, my community, by commenting down below in the comment section. So be sure to leave a comment right now on what planet or location you want to see in the next episode. And subscribe so you don't miss the next episode in the series because there is some very exciting locations to come. I thought we'd start with Nima Outpost, one of my favorite locations in the game. So in this area, it's pretty open and we have this huge Imperial Star Destroyer wreckage, which is far bigger than this Imperial Star Destroyer, as you can see. This is a fairly low poly model in comparison to this big beast, which is made up of millions of Lego bricks. Each of these thousands of Lego bricks make up a bigger version of a Lego brick to create a big Imperial Star Destroyer. We can go inside it a little bit and see the makeup of the engines, which do look awesome. What's in the bridge of the Star Destroyer? Well, there is various levels, various plates of Lego. You can see them clipping into each other here, down the spine of the bridge. As you just saw, there is nothing in the Imperial Star Destroyer model, this huge one, but it all changes when you actually go inside it as Ray. As you can see, this huge hangar, which you've probably already been in, does look a little bit different on the outside. It changes the screen effects, the lighting and such, which is really weird, especially when you're looking outside the playable area. The developers did not expect anyone to do this, but you can tell that there are sand dunes, even though they are very, very low resolution. Although I think with all that sand, all the little grains of sand, but when you get far out because of shading the shadows, not very high resolution shadows whatsoever there, but that's fine. But if we go inside the Star Destroyer interior, you can see there is a lot going on. And it does look very convincing from the outside, doesn't it? When you've just wandered in, you think, oh, you actually go into that big thing. You're not, but it does make you feel that way, which is good. I do like this, by the way. You can see these come out. It comes out the other side of the wall, literally, all the way out of this building. If we go underneath, we can see some of the floors that do drop down a bit. Underneath the sand dunes, there is actual parts of the Star Destroyer just been left. Going inside this big sand dune, yep, we've got all these Lego pieces, just how it would be in a not crash Star Destroyer. I do like all of the hidden locations on Jakku. You can see they've built out various parts of Star Destroyers underneath the sand dunes, because that's what happened after the Battle of Jakku. A lot of this Imperial technology was lost to time, and you can see the corridors right here. This is the end of this one. How about we go right down to the tip of this Star Destroyer, which doesn't actually have any grey plating, it's all orange here. It is pretty cool to see the makeup of these corridors because even though they're surrounded by sand, they technically aren't. They were built out underneath the surface and there is nothing around them, but it's really cool to see how they were constructed. Same goes for this big engine piece here. It goes all the way around. It's under the sand, as you'd expect it to be. It doesn't just cut off. And this big Lego piece as well, it's all underneath. If we go past these rocks, there is the end of this part of the sand before we go into the outer terrain, which is huge. As you can see, just look at this. It goes all the way out to here, where there is a sprite of rocks surrounding the whole of Jakku to give it a horizon when you are looking that far out, if you happen to be looking that far out, but probably won't typically, but nevertheless, it's there. It is a really big area, this terrain, isn't it? But we have a Gazanti transport, which I have to say has more polygons than I'd expected, given how far out it's spawning. Just look at that. We also have the quad jumper, traveling a little bit faster and further out. That's cool to see. We also have another quad jumper further out, and that's going the other direction. You can see in the sky there are various transports. What's here? I think that's another Gazanti, isn't it? Yes it is, it's just travelling further out. So I think what they do is they go over Nima Outpost from very far out and then make their way out of bounds. And there is quite a few, isn't there? There is more than you think. There's a fair amount of quad jumpers and Gazantis. I would have liked to have seen maybe a couple more ships in terms of variety. Let's move into a different part of this graveyard from the Battle of Jakku. 
Ray's 8080 house. Now, if we go into Freecam, you will be able to go into the 8080 and see there is basically nothing in there. It's very small, but if we actually go inside it properly as Ray, it's far bigger on the inside properly, a bit like the TARDIS. And we can go out of bounds. It's just a big shape with a black void around it. You can't see the rest of Jakku. But I do like this. This is really nice to see, actually. There's a lot of detail in this small structure. The artistry of this game is fantastic. Really well done. Good job by the developers. Let's now head into Nima itself, because there is a lot more to explore over here. Let's start with this part of an Imperial Star Destroyer. There is always something new to discover underneath Imperial Star Destroyers, isn't there? Here is another corridor section for various side quests in the game for collectibles and such. Okay, so we are finally at the outpost itself. And we can go underneath and see this trough does indeed go quite far down. Look at that. You can sort of tell if you look at it the right angle, but if you're not paying close attention, you think, oh, it's probably pretty shallow. But nope, it's a little bit deeper than you'd think. And that's what it looks like in terms of terrain without this mesh showing. There are some nice details in Nima Outpost for this game. It's really well done. Here is Uncar Plut's building, which thankfully he is not currently in at this moment in time. Then we have the parking lot, or whatever you want to call it, with the quad jumper itself right here. No blame, Falcon. But nevertheless. And I think that's all of Nima Outpost explored, but there is still other parts of Jakku to explore, so let's travel to them now. We have now travelled to Tunnel Village, which is at the start of The Force Awakens. It's far smaller than Nima Outpost, but that's fine, there is still plenty to explore. So, let's go underneath the map, see what's underneath. This fire is raging from below, and these dunes just are very flat outside. Let's take a look inside this hut before we go properly inside it, and yep, there is uh, nothing in there. There are a few searchlights which don't make any sense because there is nothing actually emitting them visibly anyway. If we go further out, there are these rocks, big rocks all the way out, spread across the map. This one's just on its own without a plane, without some terrain, but these all have terrain as well. Definitely makes this place a little bit more spooky. Such a shame this village got wiped out, isn't it? In The Force Awakens. Well, this is a big rock. Look at that. Huge. It's a bit like the TARDIS, isn't it? That was a small building, and now it's far bigger on the inside. But if we go outside of the building now, there is literally nothing except this igloo. Sand igloo. Same goes for this one, look. Much bigger on the inside. Basically the same interior, even though it's far smaller in terms of his exterior model. Look at that, very small building, but when we go inside it, it is far bigger once again. But that sky is very dark, isn't it? It's got a very bright sun, but there is dark clouds, a bit of a sunset, another building like that. There's a good aerial view of the village. You can see what the playable area is, and the out of rocks, we do have the capital ship. We are now doing the Falcon flight mission. Look at that, that's pretty cool, that Millennium Falcon model. Whoa, look at that as well. And that is pretty interesting how they built that up. Iconic moment from the first teaser trailer. Alright, so now we are just going to let the Falcon fly it on its own, explore this level. Look at all those TIE fighters coming up behind us. It is similar to Nemo Outposts but there is some big differences. For example, we have a Super Star Destroyer turned upside down here. Look at that. Phenomenal to see all of these millions of bricks building up bigger bricks that make up an Imperial Super Star Destroyer. And there is something down here at the end. More engines and such. Look at that, you'd never know they were there, but now you know. That is pretty interesting because all of this is very thin, and then we have the Out of Bounds sprite, like literally the end of the level, and then we have this, for some reason. If we keep going underneath, we can see this Star Destroyer, which is a similar model to the one that's in Nemo Outpost. We can go further out, 
much further out. It's a huge level. I suppose it makes sense because you're going to be flying and be able to see much further into the distance than if you were just playing as a minifig. Those pieces just stick out like a sore thumb, don't they, underneath the map. I suppose they are here. Maybe they just accidentally flipped them. Maybe they shouldn't be there. Because this, remember, this is the front of the Super Star Destroyer. So I'd imagine someone left this by mistake. There are two First Order Star Destroyers in the sky as well. Very low poly in texture resolution, but still, nevertheless, look good from distance. By the way, this is still one of my favourite LEGO sets I have. It's a great build. And that is Jakku Explored. I know this planet has been requested for quite some time, and now it has been its time to be explored. It's very interesting. There's more interesting stuff than you think. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do drop a like to help support the channel. Comment down below which planet or location you'd like to see in the next episode remember to subscribe so you don't miss it and if you missed any of the previous episodes in this series do click on the playlist on the screen right now and i shall see you in my next lego star wars the skywalker saga video goodbye